Alright, Sigma Stage 3. Not much I can really say about it. This is pretty much going to be an arbitrary. You're going to be fighting lots of lots of previous bosses stage. Um, starting with Armored Armadill over here. If you can't tell by his scenery here, uh, Electric Spark Mandrel's weapon. I'm not real. I'm not going to try and use the um, Hadoken for these here. I might try here if I can. Which I just did. He also fires very similar like shots to the head open. Nowhere near insta kill. And as you saw there, yeah. The Hadoken is very, very broken. It no matter what can kill everything except for one thing in the whole game in just one hit. This is Sting Camellia Dick. I'm sure you saw why this boss was annoying last time because well, uh, in his video, because, yeah, uh, here's how you beat him the easy way, though, using his weakness. Yeah, he really cannot do much. Oh, God, I love this ginger ale. I also love Pepsi throwback, too. Well, actually, ginger ale isn't really my favorite um, type of like pop anymore. Pepsi Throwback is really, really free, freaking good. Um, no, X Buster. Yeah, I can. Okay, I don't know what like I was talking about in my Mega Man 4 Let's Play because I mentioned that there was like a hack I seen once and all that, but I guess not. I'm not sure. There might be like one X game where. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure. Okay, this I believe is Spark Mandrel, so take out. Um, yeah, this is Spark Mandrel. You can tell by the ceiling with the wall hangers. Chill Penguin's weapon. Uh, excuse me. I really do hate burping during recordings and such, but sometimes it can't be really be helped. Shoot, that was not a very good hit there. Well, very bad. Screw you, you stupid... Whatever the heck a mandrel is. Spark mandrel to me always seemed like the one like maverick in this game who's not really based on an animal. Then again, I have no idea what an, a maverick... An, a mandrel is, and if I find out on, like, Wikipedia during editing, I might post it, like, a picture of one on screen right now, and a description of, a brief, like, description of it. Uh, I'm actually gonna refill the boomerang cutters here, because there is a nice little trick I want to show off for, uh, the two we haven't fought yet, which are Launch Octopus and, uh, oh, uh, wait, shoot, wrong weapon. Yeah. Launch Octopus and, uh, um, Flame Mammoth. Those were the, that was the one I couldn't think of. Okay, gotta wait for this thing to fully charge here. You don't need to fully charge it. Like, it's kind of recommended. Anyways, if you use the Boomerang Cutter on this guy here. Okay, yeah, you can cut off his, uh, Antenna there, and that just means it's pretty much a, a tapping fest with the Y button here because he won't actually be able to do any damage to you if you keep your distance properly. I'm kind of not really doing the best here. Yeah, I would recommend this way more than the Rolling Shield. It may be a little bit slower than the Rolling Shield, which is his weakness, but it really doesn't do as much more. And this way, I think you drain, you would drain a little bit faster doing this as long as he stays on the ground longer. <sighs> Dang it! Come on now. Okay, sweet. Managed to finish him. Finish him. Ah! I don't know. What was that video that I made that joke in? I cannot remember. I think I think it was the Stink Chameleon video. 
come to think of it, I'm pretty sure it was. I love Mortal Kombat, though. Yet, I've never really, like, considered the new Mortal Kombat that much of a next-generation game. I really... It seems kind of weird, like, a lot of next-generation gamers, like, consider games like Portal 2 and Mortal Kombat a lot more next-gen games, and that's something that kind of bothers me a little bit, because they're really not that next-gen if you think about it. I mean, Mortal Kombat's been around in the arcade for years, and people have loved it in the arcades. I've loved it ever since I was a kid playing uh, Mortal Kombat 3 for Super Nintendo. Uh, and, oh, there we go. I showed off what I wanted to show off here. If you use the boomerang cutter on him, he will, he will get rid of his tusk here. I think he looks kind of retarded without his tusk, which is why I don't like doing it as much as uh, launched octopus. But yeah, overall, this guy really doesn't do much more. And then Portal 2. Portal's been out for like four or five years, four years now, I think. So... Yeah, it's not really much next-gen, so like, when the sequel was announced, and when I got my hands on the sequel, I was really pleased with it, I find it, it's an amazing game. In fact, as much as I like some games like Halo, I think Portal 2 is actually my favorite next-gen game. That game is just, it's fun as ever-loving crap. I just, oh, that game is so damn fun. Anyways, shoot. Ah, crap, this boss really does hurt if he hits you. Um, shoot, dang it, dodge. Thank you. I love those boomer cutters. It shouldn't be too bad if you know what you're doing. If you don't, it can be pretty annoying. And that was the last stage before the final boss of the game, believe it or not. Yeah, this game is actually shorter than Mega Man 4 is.